space covered all in the gold areas with retributor armor. Wash all the gold areas with Gillum and Flesh Contrast. Um, a thick enough layer, enough that it'll collect uh, heavily in the recesses and around anything like rivets or other discontinuities in the metal. Push the contrast, pun very much intended, paint around the rivets and the recesses with a one-to-one -one mix of wildwood contrast and contrast medium. Painting over the rivets is no problem at all as these will be picked out in brighter gold later on. Edge highlight the gold areas with Liberator Gold, any of the sharp edges and the top of any of the rivets. Where possible, of course, use the edge of the brush if this is a lot easier than using the tip of the brush to paint the lines, but on this example, some of the edges have to be painted freehand. Correct any spillage of the gold paints onto the back areas with a bad and black. In this example, I've just painted the entire panels so that there's a nice uniform coat for the next steps. For black armor, the first edge highlight I would use would be Mechanica Standard Grey. Now in this example, as you can see, there aren't any actual black edges, but a lot of the box art would show using these colors to paint kind of a, an imaginary edge around the interior border of all the gold panels so really there isn't any tricks to this it's keeping the paint thin enough that it flows freely but not so thin that you need multiple layers trying to draw the brush in a direction that's most comfortable so kind of towards you or downward and really just taking your time don't be too worried about any thicker lines or any um, errors in this stage because you're actually going to be correcting them next anyway just take your time with it and make them as thin and as straight as you can. Once this layer is dry, you can then correct any of the thicker lines or errors with a bad and black. I've heard this called subtractive edge highlighting, which kind of fits the description quite well. So you're kind of running the black paint along the edges of your grey highlights to make them thinner and make them straighter. Um, can be quite effective but just does take a little time so the less mistakes in the first step the less time it'll take to correct them. Edge highlight again edge is maybe a bit of a stretch but pick out the sharpest points on this grey line namely at the tips of the point parts of the armour with administratum grey. Again much like the previous step once this is done I came back in with some abandoned black and use that to make the points both narrower and pointier. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, please check out my channel where there are numerous other painting tutorials.